Hi guys, Jana here again. I told you I'd make you a couple of videos and show you all of this new stuff that I've got going on. So right now I want to talk to you about flying fish and wings. All right. Um, we all like fishing with flying fish, of course, especially when you see them schooling in the water, you want to make absolutely certain that you've got at least one flying fish in your spread. For me personally, I have always had my absolute best luck with striped marlin with flying fish and they're my favorite thing. Well, one of my favorite things to catch, but anyway. So, the flying fish on the website were out of stock for a while. Sorry about that. It takes me a while to make all this stuff. So, I've got everything. All the flying fish are back in stock. Uh, I have got, we've got a bright titanium white version. That's our classic, classic red eye. I also have the beautiful bright white with dragon skin. I have blue and pink with this gorgeous dragon skin. You guys know I don't have much of this dragon skin available, so you want to get them while you can. Um, I also went ahead and made everybody's favorite teal versions. This is uh, Aussie Ice Blue Abalone. Um, this is, some people call it Angel Wings. Some people call it Donkey Ear Abalone. I think Angel Wings sounds much nicer than Donkey Ear, but either way, fish love it. It's shell and it's iridescent and just beautiful. So I have both of those done again. And then Malolo, my classic Malolo with that gorgeous bright blue and this glows, of course. The head does, not the skirts. I just used a nice classic flying fish pattern. Um, and then this is new. So the strawberry pearl flying fish that I made with the uh, pearly white dragon skin that sold out and then I couldn't get the inner for Gay Bob, the Yozuri inner for Gay Bob that I really liked for it anymore. And so Pop got me this. Uh, this is, it's just a nice pale, pale white pink outer and then it's got this bright pink inside and it makes a great Gay Bob combo. I think it's beautiful. So that's new and then the uh, wings on this are new. I used the embossed scale instead of the printed scale. So that being said, um, if you guys like to buy your wings and you don't want to cut them yourselves, uh, you can buy them on the website again. I have wings available to purchase or when you buy Allure, you can just go ahead and add on wings. You can choose that as an add-on and, and we'll tie them on for you. But if you want to just buy your wings, I have them available in the uh, printed scale and the embossed scale. And Eric White, thank you Eric, helped me completely redesign our wings. So that is all new. now. They still have a very authentic flying fish wing shape. It's not just the pointy triangle, all right? But what's different is they're much more streamlined when you have them on the lure. You can still counter them up if you want to, and they're much more secure. That's a big difference. Now, if you wanna know how to tie wings on, don't ask me to teach you. I am a terrible teacher. I mean, look at me. I'm a spaz. I'm all over the place. I talk with my hands. Go online on YouTube. Go on here and look for, they call her the Flashaboo Queen, okay? And she works for uh, Pacific Rim and Tackle. And so go ahead and, and do a YouTube search. That girl is awesome. She will teach you how to skirt lures. She'll teach you how to put Flashaboo on, which I'm terrible at. She'll teach you how to cut wings yourself. She'll teach you how to tie them on. So go watch her because she's great and I'm not, all right? She's, you know, really calm and everything, which clearly I'm not. But um, these, when you fold them over, here's the deal. The very widest point of the wing is the part that gets tied on, all right? That's really important. It makes them really secure. Also, I have them cut so that when you fold them over, your fold is going to be hidden under the rest of the wing and you won't see it, all right? So I have two kinds of those available and then these I did in the classic shape, okay? And I've already pre-cut the top so that when you fold it, it'll be hidden underneath and again, widest point will be underneath your line tie. Now, this is the perfect size for these little guys, okay? So the um, little six or seven inch bullets or little tiny lures that you wanna put wings on, this is a great size to, to do that on. So, all the flying fish back in stock, a little bit new, few changes, wings available. You can either buy them and I'll throw them in the box with all your other stuff or tie them on for you. Thanks you guys for liking these so much and happy fishing.